Peace family, it's Caps and the Oracle, One Happy Remnants Gathering, and I wanted to do a quick drop in. I said I was going to do more of these, and this is it. Um, first, I want to say, are you allowing your higher self to come into your life and exist to create a new reality? Or are you perpetuating an old version of yourself, an old timeline? You're either perpetuating an old narrative or you're co-creating a new narrative. So in the energy that's coming through leading up to December 31st, there's a whole lot of death and rebirth taking place. I believe a lot of us are actually dying and being rebirthed like from the night when we go to sleep and waking up the next day. So if it's something in your life that you're not happy with, you can begin viewing, viewing your sleep, the time that you sleep, as as your spiritual death right so you're either doing one or the other you're either co-creating a new timeline for the new person you desire to be or you are perpetuating the old narrative and what you're going to do you're going to cast people in your life to fit into that old narrative because you are operating from a place of being unhealed you are operating from a place from being below the veil of consciousness. So you don't even realize that you're perpetuating that narrative. So let's just say you've been a victim in your life. You're going to continue to be a victim in your life because you don't feel that you, you don't feel empowered. You don't, you don't know who you are. I just want to say, I see you. I see you trying. I see you doing everything that you know to do to have a new outcome. I see you, you know, I see you i feel you when i do readings i experience things as if i'm you and i get it so i just wanted to do a quick message just to say before you make decisions before you react to situations just take a quick second for you ladies ask your womb ask your womb am i perpetuating an old me or am i co-creating the new me with the way I respond to this. You're either doing one or the other. There is no in between with this. You're either doing one or the other. So I say, wherever it is that you desire to go and to be, if you wanna be a millionaire, if you wanna be a billionaire and even more, how are you handling your bills? How, how are you handling what's on your plate? Don't allow yourself to get caught up in the spiritual awakening and it turns into spiritual bypassing and you're doing all this other spiritual stuff just because you don't want to deal with reality. You don't want to deal with your reality. You don't want to deal with whatever is going on in your reality that you don't like. You have to face it. You have to deal with it. And you have to say, you know what? I am a sovereign being and I choose. I choose. I, I don't have to live as if I'm not a sovereign being. I choose. I choose who I am. I choose the way I respond. I choose the way I present myself to the world. This is even this even surpasses astrology. You know, especially Western astrology, this surpasses that. You choose, you are sovereign. I just want to say, I see you. I see you trying. I see you. I hear you. When I do your readings, I feel you. I know that you are doing the best that you can do with what you are giving. And if that is you, and if this message reaches you, know that that is enough. You are enough. Okay? You are enough. Doing the best that you can with the tools that you have. You are enough. Most healing, miracles, transformation happens when we know we are enough. I'm enough. As broken as I am, and maybe I'm still in remnants, but I am enough. In this moment, I am breathing. I am enough. I am living. I am enough. I am aware I am enough. And you want to you want to take these moments as we're going into December 21st. You want to continue the rebirth. You want to flip the coin on whatever your situation is and say, "I am enough." And you are. You are. If you're watching this video, I I am not on some level that that no one else can reach. Many of you, spiritually, I would consider many of you 
like gurus, you know, gurus awakening to being gurus. And maybe you don't know, but you are enough. You are beautiful. You are fucking awesome. You are great. Yes, you are. You are screwed up sometimes. You are wounded. You are crazy. You all of that. You make no sense. You're a freaking enigma. You are a sacred rebel, but you are enough. Even in your broken pieces, you are more than some people could ever hope to be. So I hope that this message encourages you and inspires you. And this is just me offering some of the oracle energy of my heart to you. All right. Peace.